Hi guys, I promised you to make a series of videos about the tips, the psychological tips, uh, how to raise your child uh, based on actually the psychosexual development theory of uh, Sigmund Freud. And so today will be the third video from this series and it will be about the phallic um, stage of a psychosexual development it's the third stage uh, i will uh, leave link below to the videos that i've made about previous two stages and this stage is passing every child from three up to six years old and what is it about and which are the consequences if the child is not being able to pass through this stage is uh, forming the fixation on this stage i will tell you everything about it this is this age is a so magic beautiful age in which the opposite uh, gender of gendered child to the parent uh, i mean if um, we are talking about the mother uh, this is about more about son and we are if you are talking about the father this is more about uh, the daughter so uh, the parent is always opposite to the gender of a child are developing the very special relationship and in the fir very first part of this stage we can actually divide it in two parts in the very first part the child is uh, falling in love with a parent uh, with the opposite gender gender parent so if we are talking about the daughter it will be father and very much idolizing him uh, often you can hear from such children in this age that oh my god uh, my father is so amazing my father is a superman i'm really in love with my father and when i will grow up i will marry my father from the girls you often can uh, really hear this and this is so cute, a childish way of the behavior. This is such a, uh, you know, in genuine uh, a childish love that you see. What can be better than this? And the same you can see and you can hear from the boys. The boys are really in love with their mothers. They are idolizing their mothers. The mother is a princess for them. They are often telling like, I will definitely marry my mother when I will grow up. So uh, what is happening in this stage and which is a really tricky place in this? The very tricky place is when the uh, woman, in this case the mother, is playing into these games together with his son is telling him of course honey i love you so much as well you are also perfect and of course when you will grow up you will marry me don't worry and everything is gonna be as you want and you are the best you are better than everybody and uh it's really uh you know playing with these games uh, with a child and the same is the worst when the father is doing the same is uh, telling oh of course honey you are the most beloved creature in this world for me i love you so much and of course when you will grow up we will get married and so on and so both of uh, parents are playing in this games with the children not really understanding the, that they are hurting them so much and uh, also the opposite behaving like shaming the child like doing like what are you talking about uh, or being so called being like not reacting at this at all ignoring things that the child is telling you uh, being called uh, uh, or shaming this or like what this is nonsense what are you talking about you're full small idiot or something like that 
both of these extremes and I'm telling you all the time that both that all extremes are so 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 uh, damaging to your child so what you better do in this age what you um, the best what you can do is to sit and talk to your child about this and telling them I love you very much you are the best creatures you are the warmest the most loving the most beautiful the most uh, successful the best creature in this world and you are my child and i love you so much but here is what uh, what is wrong with that i'm in love with your father or, or i'm in love with my partner or i'm in love with my boyfriend and so honey when you will grow up um your mother you need to tell this to your child to your son when you will grow up you will definitely 100 percent find your best person for you you will find the best girl for you you will find the best woman for you the best partner for yourself when you will grow up so don't worry about that but as I am your mother and I already have my partner, I cannot marry you. You are doing this really with empathy. You are doing this really loving. You are telling this in a very, very, very uh, careful way. You are telling this in a very less harm uh, way as you could. And so your child will understand, okay, I got it. I love my mom and she's my mom. And my mom is loving me as well. But when I will grow up, I will really find the best partner for myself. And so my mom is not the partner for me. You know, the same you need to do if you are the father of a daughter. The same you need to do with her. And so what is happening here? Uh, the, it's taking place the real separation of the child. And so she understands, okay, this is my father, he is the best, he is great, but he is having my mother. In this way, uh, this shift is happening, so the child uh, starts to shift from idealizing the um, parent of the opposite gender to the point when they start to take the experience, the example from the parent of the same gender of them. So if you uh, are the mother of a boy, this boy was either idealizing you. And uh, also I need to tell you that this is not uh, something about something special about your child. Like all the children are passing through the stage and all the children are expressing their love in different ways of course every child is different and so they are expressing their love to their parents in a different way but they all are passing through this stage it's inevitably actually and uh, so um, in this way the child your son for example is coming from one place where he was idealizing you and you was the best uh, woman of his life he is passing to the point where he's starting to watch and learn from his father and take an example from his father of uh, in this stage they also may uh, i don't know go fishing together do something like really man stuff together and so he's watching his uh, father uh, he's starting to see okay my father is buying the flowers to my mother okay I might do the same for my, my woman when I will grow up. Uh, he's also watching how the father is uh, treating his mother of, uh, and he's like uh, figuring it out. Okay, when I will grow up, I will treat my uh, future uh, wife the same. Why it is crucial to really help your child to pass through this uh, stage and not having the fixation in this because 
if your child is forming a fixation in this, if you are were not careful enough, and if you were not having this conversation, as I told you before, with your child, your child may form the Oedipus complex. If we are talking about father-daughter relationship, your daughter may form an Electra complex as well. So what is it about? Uh, Oedipus complex is about uh, a grown uh, man who is having fixation at this point of idealizing his mother. And so in his subconscious, the mother is remaining on the position of, on the place of the woman of his life. And so he's not able to build any type of a real relationship with his woman. All the time he's either changing the partners all the time, like marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing, or he may find one uh, woman and he's all the time cheating on her, or he could, for example, marry somebody or uh, having a child with her and after like one year of being together, they split, they broke up or his like lifetime bachelor, I uh, already did uh, the video about this. Uh, I, I may uh, leave the link down below or put it here. So check it up about uh, the stars who I believe having this complex. And so they are not really able to build their relationship. And so by idealizing their parents, these children cannot build their relationship. And so if they are not able to build their relationship, they are always alone. And, you know, we all are mortals. And in, at one time you will die. And if your child didn't pass through this stage, he will be left alone. He will not be able to stay with his family, with his kids, you know, because one point is when you are a growing up person and you have your family and your father or your mother is dying. And the other, totally another point, if the only one person that you have in this earth is your mother as a man and uh, this mother is dying and you are totally alone in this world, you know, oftentimes such mothers who are not really uh, letting their children go, not letting their sons go. They are going on vacations all the time together. They are going everywhere together. So he's not able really to build his personal romantic relationship because she's always with him. And of course, such mothers, as a consequence, also oftentimes alone, they are not able to build their relationship because the imaginary place of the um, man of their life is already occupied by her son. But this is the same. She is not able to build her relationship. So she is having too much free time to put her nose into the relationship of her son. So her son is not able to build his romantic relationship. And so they are not having other choices than to spend the time together. So for such men, when the mom is dying, is really the biggest tragedy of his uh, life. And he may not be able even to pass through this. How many old single men we see in Europe, we see in uh, USA, uh, a lot from them are not really separated from their mothers. And the major point here that it doesn't matter if your mother is still alive or not. Even if she is dead, even if she is gone some time ago, you may be not separated from her. And this may distance you 
from your chance to build your best relationship with your best partner you know so maybe subconsciously you are either find all the time partner that you are not being able to build the real relationship with or you are escaping from the relationship as soon as it gets serious or you cannot help yourself but you are all the time cheating on your partner this like it can have a lot of manifestations a lot of variations in this case but the key word is you are not able to build the real relationship in your life if you are telling this if you describe this in in few words it just because in this imaginary place of the woman of your life you are still having your mother and this is not just having your mother but you have your perfect idealized photoshopped image of your mother in this place and so all the time when you're going out when you are getting to know other people when you are getting to the dates when you are getting to know uh, real women who are having real pro and contrast uh, defects and their beautiful sides you're all the time subconsciously again comparing them to the idealized photoshop image of your mother and so you are all the time taking the real people you know you're dating with real people and in your subconscious you're having this idealized photoshop image of your mother of course if you compare the real person to this image the real person will never win against the idealized the perfect image of somebody and so you are not able to create this relationship because all the time you are uh, having this uh, thought in your head my mom was the best or my father was the best and nobody will ever get until this uh, level of the perfectness uh, of your father or your mother does make sense to you okay guys leave the comment down below what you think about this topic uh, uh, was it clear the way i explained it to you have you faced uh, the oedipus complex uh, maybe from the people you know from your surrounding maybe um, the um, cases that you've heard and of course what you think about it maybe you recognize in this video yourself comment down below about this and please comment with the ideas maybe you uh, have your favorite celebrity you need to have analyzed uh, from the psychological point of view and i will be glad to make video about this please um Put the thumbs up and of course subscribe on my channel because i'm doing a lot of interesting psychological analysis uh, lately also about uh, famous people about their behavior and uh, this will be very interesting i think so we see each other next time bye bye